What's going on, folks? Welcome back. That's right. We're going hunting. This is the last day for waterfowl season here in Nebraska. We're going out to the lease for the very last time of the year to hopefully get some birds down. So we are at the not suspicious but highly suspicious door that's in my house. And if you're new here, this is it. It's it's a suspicious door. Wait, you got to get another book. We got to put more books in there. Maybe a picture. I don't read is my biggest problem. But maybe we need to set up like a PO box. They send me books and then I put their books on it. I feel like people would send me some weird books. Some dirty books. You think some dirty books yeah. will get sent? Yeah. Potentially. Let me know if you guys think that's a good idea or not. But if you guys don't know, this door that's not suspicious but is highly suspicious is how we access the pews because we are doing a roulette challenge, which means we're going to go in here and pick, I don't know, five to seven pews, put them on a roulette wheel. Tomorrow morning, we're going to spin them. Whatever it lands on, that's what you're hunting with for the day. And I've got some doozies in here that you probably don't want to hunt with. So inside the vault, ladies and gentlemen, is where all the pews are held. So we've got all sorts of guns. We've got four, 10, 20 gauge, 12 gauge, 10 gauge, 28 gauge, 16 gauge. That's what we got for shotguns. What are you thinking? Ready to go. Banjo's is exciting. So the one thing is we're going after big old honkers. So that doesn't mean you can't use a 410 or a 20 or 16 or 28, but if we want to get them down on the ground, 12 is what we're going to be going after. And our 10 gauge is MIA. That sucker can't be used. So I think we're probably going to stick. Huh? Let's work. Yes, legally, no. Okay. But it would technically work if you're a really good shot. But no, you can't use that. 12 gauge what we're dealing with. So this is the 12, well, part one of two. 12 gauge wall right here. Everything you're seeing here all the way up to there is in fact a 12 gauge. You come over here and we've got 12 gauge, 12 gauge, not 12 gauge. So these two right here, which is the bolt action, the scope gun. Oh, and those are 12 as well. So depending on what magazine you, you get, you could be legal technically, or you could not be. So yeah, it's right there. Once the, the drum. Oh yeah, this this is the this is the legal one. This is the not so legal one. This is the I'm gonna go to federal prison, but it'd be I'll have a good time doing it. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Right there. I mean, yeah, you can't leave snow goose. Oh make it rain, son. Dome, 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 dome. You know what I mean? But for what we're hunting today, in today's video, you can't use this, unfortunately. So that's our options. If we're gonna stick 12 gauge, so I think Big Junior's not here. He's gonna be hunting with us, but he's swap racks or something. So we'll pick we'll pick a big gun for Big Junior, even though it's roulette. Meaning if I pick a gun, I'm like, ooh, that Big Junior gets this, he's screwed, and I get it, then I'm screwed. That's the whole game of roulette. How about we each pick two, two, two? Okay. okay. I'm gonna start off nice. So should, we, should we each get a good one and a bad one, maybe? Sure. Or a good mean, one, not some good one. Yeah. Okay. Like I'll if go. you could pick, if you were serious, like yeah. I'm here to kill, yeah. which one do you want? I'll go serious first. Let's see. I like the old school. Really? The old Maxis, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a 12 gauge, yeah. chambered at three and a half. Yeah. That's in it. With the choke in it. So, all right. So I'm going to go with, I'll do, I'll do a, a, a good one as well. Yeah. Let's see. If I was to, I kind of like the pump though. I feel like pump could be decent. We got side by side. We got yeah. the Escort. Big Junior's big Escort. I'm gonna go with the pump. It's not like the best, but it's not terrible. This is like a trusty. If reliable. you get it, you're still gonna kill him, but you're gonna have a little bit yeah. more fun doing it. So, all right, pump check. Okay, Jake's, what do you what do you think? Good, old trusty. Trusty, which one's trusty? Yours. Oh, my daily. Yeah, yeah. this guy. That thing's proven. This thing has killed some things this year and last year. It's got the long range in it. Yeah, it's got the long range. Okay, so you're excited to get that. So these three are kind of your like you're you're going to put them down on the ground if you know how to handle a weapon. Now this is where things get interesting, Banjo. You can either go with a side by side. You can go with an over and under. The one with the extended tube, I would advise against that for today's adventure. You've got the shorties. I would also advise against that. You've got the AR platforms, which you can do, but probably not going to cycle. Just going to give you a forewarning. So if you want to make sure that the whoever's sh shooting, since there's only going to be a couple shooters, two or three shooters, if you want them to cycle, I would advise against that. Or if you want to give somebody sniper abilities, you get them with the scope. That's Banjo's favorite. I'm not going that. Or no you can go with the bolt action, which we all know is a sniper. But again, you're probably only going to get one shot because it doesn't cycle. What are you thinking? You're going to throw a curveball. Uh, uh, Mr. Side by Side. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I want Big Junior to get this. You want big, yeah. He's a big over and under guy though, isn't he? Yeah. A little different than Side by Side. But that one's not bad. Like I've, se I've seen worse. Okay, I kind of want you to go next because I already know what really? I'm going. With. Are you? Yeah, and I don't. That scares me. I, yeah. I already know what I'm going with. So if you if you had okay. to pick one that you think could do the job, because we're here to. I mean, this is the last hunt of the season, boys. We're not we're not trying to go home empty-handed. We got catch clean cooks to do, so we can't have all bad pews. I'm hungry. Really? Yep. So if you were to pick one that's like maybe a little bit more creative, but definitely still is gonna fire, because remember they all fire now. Yeah, we figured that I out. Did figure that what out. You, which one are you gonna go with? You gonna go with scoped, bolt action, AR, over and under, or another banale? What do you think? Well, Big Junior loves over and unders, and he 
also loves escorts. So Big Junior loves escorts. You think escort? Because it's two shells, but it I, works, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's a sniper. I mean, Big Junior loves an escort. Escort. So, escort it is. Escort. This is Big Junior's escort right here. Oh, she's not loaded. That's good. Just making sure. So, I, mean, I feel like we've already got a, got a good variety. We've got two semi-automatics, which are like kind of daily drivers, like kind of the, the top of the line. You've got a pump, which is just a step down, but still equally still as lethal. Still three shells. Trusty. Still three shells. So, you got three that can hold three, two that can hold two, side by side, over and under, both equally lethal, but you're, you're going down because now you only get two shells. So, just because I know Big Junior's going to throw an absolute fit, this gun is supposedly cursed, okay? And here's why. We've attempted to make a video with this gun. This would be our third time. We've done it twice or fourth. Four. Four. We've done, yeah. we've gone hunting three times with this gun, this shotgun, just a normal shotgun, and we've never been able to shoot anything. Like, we don't, we blank when we take this. We it's never cursed. Even fire it. It doesn't We're even get fired. We didn't even see a duck. So, I think we should take it. No, God. It's not, it, because here's why. I want to see Big Junior's reaction because he's going to be pissed, and that's fun. Yeah, yeah. Two, I'm confident we're going to see birds and shoot birds tomorrow because the birds are here. We're going to the lease. The lake's full. Not the big lake. We're going to the small lake. We'll show you. So, I, I want to break the curse. So, I feel like if we just got to have to, you can't give up. You just got to go for it. You know what I mean? Sure. We're going with the old scout. Oh. This is the slug gun, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. The slug gun. This is for deer hunting. In fact, I've shot a deer with this before. It is not for waterfowl. It's got a 3 to 10x zoom scope, 12 gauge. The thing is, it should still cycle. So you got that hopefully. going for you, hopefully. But I mean, like, you're telling me if you get this or big, you get, like, you can't, you're not going to be sniped? I feel like we're shooting after, bonkers. Yeah, They're slow after, moving. After one shot, though, you're going to have to, like, find the bird again. In the, I feel like it's a one and done. But I think you get good headshots with this. Water plus Swat City. Yes. Ooh, if we or, get them on the water, that is a move. This is the swatting, swatting gun. I feel like, <laughs> but I, like I think it could a work. cross shot, like a fast moving goose, like trying to get out of your spread. It's gonna be difficult. So it's possible. Slow honkers. Like we've got everything going for us. It's gonna piss Big Junior off, which gets me excited. Okay, I'm going with the slug gun with the scope. We're gonna put this gun, the side by side, the over and under pump, and the two semi automatics all on the roulette wheel tomorrow morning. We all get there. We spin it. Whatever it lands on, you get. I guess I could make. I mean, I could maybe make an exception. How about how about this? How about this? Because I don't want I don't want this to ruin a hunt. Okay. okay. If if you get this, you just have to shoot at the first flock and down a bird. And if you down a bird, then maybe you could go to something else. Deal. And we don't tell Big Junior that rule. Yeah, big, not, that's just that's between just him us. and I. Yeah. If, if you get it or yeah. if I get it, yeah. okay. we shoot once and then we switch. And if Big Junior asks, we're like, yeah, that was the rule. But if he gets it, that's not nope, the rule. And no he has rule. to stick with the whole day. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. We'll see you guys in the morning. Here we are, folks. You ready for this banjo? How you feeling? You, great. This is banjo's lucky, trusty, no. and rusty right here, buddy. I got three good options right here. I'll get four. Four good options. Two bad options. You don't like the escort? No, four. Oh, oh. I like these four. Oh, I don't. See, I don't like these two. You don't like Mr. Double Trigger here? No. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like that one should not be allowed. What? Why? Because <laughs> I'll accidentally pull both for sure. That's fine. Hey, you trying to kill these honkers or not? You know what I'm saying? Double the power. So we've got everything laid out on the roulette wheel. Time to spin. We're gonna see who. Who is gonna get what out here for the last hunt of the season? Okay, everything's on the roulette wheel. We've got Maxis, Scope, Side by Side, S Core, SBE3, and Pump. You do the honors, Banjo. Oh, really? Yep. First one of the day. Let's go, S Core. Banjo gets to go after some honkers <laughs> using the one, the only. Stop! Stop! Sco no! <laughs> God, I love that gun. This is my favorite. It's the worst gun it, ever. Like that's bad. I mean, yeah. headshots, buddy. Yeah, I got no, it. You got it. I got headshots. Him. All right, Big Junior. I'm gonna delete scope. There's only one. The one and only. All right, Big Junior. Here you go. Let's see what we're after. Come on, we gotta get the. You're a big escort guy, though. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. You're a big escort guy. Side. Come on now. Pump, daddy. You're a big pump oh, guy. I can, oh, like I, can do, I can deal with that. Yeah. The old 870 Ek Express. There they you go, you buddy. Pump in high school, right? Y yeah. That's your nickname Easy. in high school or no? All right, pump is gone. Delete. Now I've got a 25% chance of getting a Maxis or a Super Black Eagle 3. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Escort's not <laughs> bad. <laughs> side by side would suck. Here we go, folks. What are we going to be shooting with? Give him that side by side. You mad? Just a straight cross squad? <laughs> no he skipped ones. over all three good ones? <laughs> Come on. Oh, no. Yes, yes. Maxis. Let's go. Let's rigged. go, buddy. The old old school. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Well, I'm using this guy. We've got what kind of choke we got in here? Hopefully the old long range. Why doesn't even have a choke tube? No, you'd be alright. That's myth. You don't need that. That's a myth. Mid-range. Hopefully they're close. <laughs> Hopefully they're close. You guys stay tuned. Alright folks, so pulled up. We came over, shut off the generator because it's pumping water. The 
spreads out. We've been running the perma spread the last week. It's finally time. Oh, there's a duck. Oh, there's ducks. Rip. Why is it not duck hunting season? Look, you see this mallard right here? Cut him. Rip. But there's a bunch of honkers on the pond, sitting on the pond. It is now shooting light. We didn't think they were going to be here this early. So you might be wondering, Flair, are you going to jump slash water swat Canada geese on your pond? Absolutely. That's what we're going to attempt to do. Dude, oh my gosh, look at the ducks. Incredible. Incredibly. Can't shoot those big here. So I've got a few shells loaded. Banjo, you got to get first shot because you're the sniper. Yeah. This is honestly the perfect opportunity for Banjo because he's got a scope on this guy. I mean, it's like the ultimate SWAT machine. So the question, so they're out. They're out there. That's where the pond is. There's some to the right, there's some to the left. If Big Junior goes left, they're going to push this way. Go that way? Just split, just split it. Someone's got to get one, right? You're gonna, you're gonna what? They're gonna, I'm gonna rain on them. Right. They're gonna die. Oh my gosh, the ducks. Oh man, look at him do that. So if you're gonna try to go north, I would jet into the old Walk pond and right I would go, I would go all the way and go. Follow this hose right all the way to the tip line. Yeah. So, so you're, so you're gonna go, you're gonna go to the pip line. He's probably gonna have a decent shot. Yeah. And honestly, he's probably gonna have the best shot. The question is, do you and I peel out and try to use that blind as cover, or do we just crouch through the weeds? I think we should walk just go low straight. And walk straight out. Right? And big, so what? You you go you go ahead. Yeah, we're losing. Go go go. All right. So big junior, big junior's gonna go. He's gonna go all for the flank. Okay. So he's going this way. Flank no stake. Is that what he's yeah, up to? Flank, not the stake. He's actually flanking. Okay. There's some decent brush in front of us. I think we just get nice and low. I'll have you go in front of me because you got the scope, the headshots only, and we're gonna see what we can make happen now. If this wasn't like the last time we're gonna go hunting, you'd probably try to soft bump them and then hopefully they come back. But if we can get them down right now, that's what that's the plan. So how do you feel about the scope? What what power are you at right now? Three. Three power? Yeah, I'd say zoom down. And how many how many shells you got in there? Two? I'm loaded. You're ready to rock. Yeah. Well I hear Paul getting pretty excited. It's game time boys. Pick out which one you wanna shoot? <laughs> Oh yeah, big boys yeah, dead. Yeah. Yep, yep. I look for bands. Oh, I got yeah. one. Yep, I got one. Out. Should I shoot three and a half of these sons of guns? I have some. Is that gun chamber in three and a half? Yeah. You got the old golden goose. <laughs> these are triple B's. Oh god. Other bank. Look through here, but I think they're all pushed over to the other bank. There's a whole bunch of them on the north bank. There's still some in the decoys though. You see big junior? <laughs> See that, see that dark spot over there? You don't think any of them are close to us? No, we'll see, we'll, but I think there's most of them are in the decoy spread. Yeah, there's not much movement though. Look through here real quick, but I think they're all over on the other bank. Ah, so, oh, I hate that gun. It hurts so bad. See old fingernail getter. Ah, oh. Banjo scout, got to say. Look in the decoys and see what you can Put see. Put a 10 power here. Hard to tell, but I think a lot of those are decoys, yeah, I agree. I think they're all on the, pushed on the other bank. I agree, I don't know if there's much left in our decoy spread. Big Junior's mobile, he's like crawling on the ground. Yeah, it's crawling. I think they're all on the other bank, I agree. Yeah. There might be one or two. No, look, oh, there's some in the decoy. There's not many, though, there's one or two. If we, if we go straight, I mean, we're just gonna push them even further. We're not gonna have any shot, I don't think. He's better off going down low and trying to wrap them back to us, right? Yeah. He potentially could get a shot off. There's like 50 on the other bank. Yeah, they're all on the bank. They're walking up the bank right now. And no if, if, if he starts to there. go, he's they're just gonna fly out that yeah, shoot there. Out that way. So should we just walk forward and hope for the best? Sure. Okay. All right, we'll stay in a line. See what happens. See him swimming. Big Junior didn't get close. I don't know what he was doing. What the hell, Big Junior? He's just laying on the ground over there. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't get close. Okay, I'd say that's a soft bump. There's a chance they come back. Yeah. yeah. We didn't want to necessarily say if I shot and didn't shoot anything, that's like, they're definitely not coming back. They don't know. They think Banjo's is a big-ass coyote. They're going, ah, we're going somewhere else. We might come back. All right, Big Junior's jumping goosers. Fail for the day. But geese like it. There's a little one still in the decoy there, swimming in there. there. Yeah. Keep going. Big Junior, shoot the live one. Shoot it. Shoot it. You got him! You got him, buddy. Nice. That's gotta be the only one, huh? Yeah. yeah one, there's one, one dumb guy. one. It's a little yeah. guy. I had my scope on him. If he missed that second shot, I had him. You ready to go? I had him. Well, yeah. We got one can of the goose. That's All honestly right. best case. We yeah, got I, one, I and saying, the rest of them have no that idea. Is, that is best case, because yeah. now we didn't scare the rest of them, and we still got one. Hopefully, they all come back. But we didn't think they were gonna be sitting on the pond, but they were here right and early. So we got one down. We're gonna shut the generator off, get all the stuff, get inside the pit. We got breakfast as well, and hopefully the geese come back. You guys stay tuned. Like a mallard sized goose. Nice little cackler, huh? It's not a cackler. Yes, oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Look at that tiny yeah. little face. Mallard. That is a mallard. It's a mallard. <laughs> That's crazy. Shot. Shot. Bigger mallards. I had my scope on him. I, I saw him shoot. die. 
I just got on Rise You, your oh. second shot went off. You can see through the scope? Yeah. They're in trouble today. Yeah. Big juniors, honker, jump, and serve. That was a cackler. Oh, really? He's yeah. a little guy. He's a baby. How was that? How was that? You look like a uh, freaking SEAL Team 6 over there. <laughs> Dude, around. I was crawling. Swap practice pay off or what? I yeah. saw he's. Yeah. I had, to get, I had to get closer. They got on just pretty quick, though. I so, mean, uh, they're, they're a little bit smarter. But that guy, he's dumb. He's also dead now for that he reason. He deserves yeah. to die for that one. I wouldn't go that far. But, yeah, I mean, he, he wasn't the smartest. So, w this is kind of what we're doing today. Lucy, hey. Why are you getting wet, dude? Just for no reason. Come here. So, this is the pond, okay? We've got all the geese decoys out, goose decoys out. we got sleepers. we got silos. we got floaters. we got everything. She's looking for the birdie shot. I don't really know what to tell. Slain in the grass right there. Really? Hey, come here, Lucy. We kept Lucy in the meal and she watched. So she, she for some reason, thinks there's a dead bird. But this is the pip line. So if you guys are new here, this is like the OG impoundment. When we got the lease, this was already here. The new impoundment is behind us. That's the big one. Okay, you guys saw the videos on that as well. So the big one is dry because we haven't been pumping it. The small one holds a lot less water. And like this time of year, the birds are just looking for a little bit of water. They don't care if it's a big thing of water or a small thing of water. They're just looking for water. So it's a little easier to fill this guy. Plus, I want to see how the birds like it. We've hunted this pit before. It's not my favorite setup but late season could be a little bit different i know the birds obviously already like it because they were already here so we're gonna get in the pit banjo's got the scope gun hopefully we get birds to come in because i want him to get first shot to see if he can hit one with the scope gun because no one has yet big junior's already got one up on everybody with the old pump daddy i've got the maxis you guys stay tuned <laughs> See his mallard in the big. Mm-hmm. That's good, but jeez. Wow. I know you like your Ooh. chocolate milk. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Chalky milk on tap, boys. Well, two honkers came over, could have jumped up and shot. We just thought they were gonna turn around and do it, and then we had a greenhead mallard land. We can't shoot them yet, they're out of season. So honkers are, are around, but they didn't really do much calling back to us, but you get some of this chalky, get, get the chalky waft a little bit. Plus, we've got a breakfast meal, a dish, that we've actually never had in the duck blind before. Took some creative thinking. What haven't we done? Yes, yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> I can send Lucy out. We got one down, boys. Barely. Fetch him up, Lucy. This is when we need the old panther. Panther, fetch up. Well, boys, not the greatest shooting, but we had two come over. One was low, one wasn't. Gave him the old wham bam. Definitely broke a wing, and he crash landed out in the field there. It's up to Lucy now to go wrangle his ass. I think he went mobile, boys. Fetch him up, Luz. I'm guessing he ran that way. Wherever she's heading. She's sniffing. Come on, girl. Fetch him up. Oh, she got him. She got she's him. She got him. Is it running? She got him. She's moving. She's Get him, Luz. Yeah, Luz. At least he's got him. Bring him here, Luz. Sheesh. Big Junior Tonker service. Look, we got that panther, son. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was hiding in the weeds, and all of a sudden he took off. He went full on mobile. She don't like geese, but she still found him. Good girl. <laughs> she got to him and said, you guys can get him. Yeah. <laughs> Big old honker. Woo. I mean, we're far from the blind. Yeah. Buddy hit the ground running, kept running. Nothing to swap panther couldn't get. Woo. We got two. All right, get back. Get back. Go, 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 go. God, if we were in here, they were done. The snows are thinking about it. They're heading right out front. They're coming out straight off the north end. They're gonna be right, right in front of us, right here. Ready? Get them. Watch that one. Right here. One. Shoot the one. Shoot the one. She gone. Sheesh. We got one, boys. This is tough. We got a crosswind. They're not They're not doing it the way we want. And unfortunately, we had to call it about here, which leaves these guys with minimal shots. They were still able to get shots up, but by the time they could get shots off, the birds were already scared off of my shot. We were kind of shooting like that, and this is tough. The wind's basically in our face, which makes them come from back there, which means 
we can't really, uh, yeah. And that one, honestly, like, we shot a bunch, and then all of a sudden, this dude flipped back, and we all reloaded, and that was Big Junior. Oh, wasn't? yeah, Big Junior. He folded that sucker. Yes, sir. Folded that sucker. I'm going to go ahead and say that I wish I had the long range in. I wish Big Junior had a long range in. And that time, Banjo, what did you shoot? I took the Benelli. I he upgraded. He cheated. How'd that work out? Yeah, uh, still not great. It happens. But we got one more honker. So three geese. Again, not our best hunt, not our best shoot, but since it's the last hunt of the year, we are taking what we can get. And luckily we're not scaring, you know, it's not like we're shooting big flocks, right? They're onesie twosies, taking what we can get. I don't see anything wrong with it. Obviously it'd be great if these things were backpedaling in front of us, but that's just unfortunately not the case. So what are the odds Lucy brings that bird to me? Zero. That goose weighs 50 pounds. <laughs> I'm gonna make her do it. Let's yeah. see what happens. All right, gotcha. Hey, Lucy. Here, bring it here, catch up, here, here, catch up, here, 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 no, fetch, 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 fetch up, here, bring it here, 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 come yeah, on, man. you got here. it, here, you got it, here, grab a wing, fetch up, fetch up, fetch up, here, fetch up, here, here, we're good girl. Here, fetch up, fetch up, Lucy, Lucy, here. She hates these geese, dude. She don't do. She don't do it. He's sleeping. He's a big guy. Right. No, right, get back in. <laughs> I don't know why she don't like geese. She liked the little guys, but she don't she don't like them big honk daddies. Speaking of honk daddies, Big Junior, you know what time it is? Huh. Time for breakfast. <laughs> Bam! Sausage patties. We are making egg McMuffins, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be better than McDonald's. Oh yeah. Ooh, you hear that? The old sizzle. Aren't their patties frozen like this too? I think so. Yeah. So that's one thing oh, that I don't butternut. think. I don't think we've made before. We've made literal crunch wraps. We've done that. But I don't think we've done egg McMuffin. So, Big Junior's on. How's that going? He said they smell weird. You bought them. They smell fun. And they sat in the fridge, so. Let me see. I feel like they don't smell bad. Smells like bread to me. So, we've got an English muffin, okay? We've got eggs, farm fresh, all right? We've got some cheese, and then the sausage patties. So, we go ahead and do the sausage first since they're frozen. And I didn't bring any butter or anything. So the grease that accumulates from the sausage, we will then crack the eggs in, to fry the eggs, and we will build an egg McMuffin in the duck blind, three honkers down. Hopefully the aroma of the sausage gets out there and they just start dumping. Yes, yeah, stay tuned. Right there. That is yeah, as good, good as huh? That's good. Is what it good? It tastes like a McGriddle. I said, damn, that's good. So it's good. The only thing that I would do different if I had the ability would be toast the McMuffin. Other than that, we're gonna see how it tastes. Mmm. That actually tastes. That actually tastes quite like a lot like a McMuffin. Mm -hmm. Very close. Steamy breakfast sandwich. Hey, there's four geese right on top of us. Shut up. Literally right on top. They smelled the sandwich. Nice! <laughs> nice! Oh, hanging a leg. Wow! On the right. Wow! They smelled the sammy! They, they smelled the sammy for the sure! The sandwich. They definitely smelled the sammies. There's no, there's no doubt about that. You know, I was just sitting here and all of a sudden I just... I mean, that was instant. That was in 30 seconds. You mm. took a bite and <laughs> there's geese on us. Mmm. We got two. I don't think I got any of them, to be honest with you. I was shooting at the far left one and couldn't get them down, but Banjo and Big Jr. gave him the old wham bam. We got mm -hmm. two more honkers. Go. Woo! That last shot, buddy. Dude, got I got him. a piece of stuff in my ear on the second one. Huh? So <laughs> Excuse me. Did you eat something spicy like Andrew? Oh. Right my ear canal. Big oh. Junior's good at cartwheeling them suckers in the last shot. <laughs> like every time they're warm. We had to work those wow. two suckers. We yeah, had a few groups that were working. Come and go, come and go, come. Finally, a pair finally did it, and we're gliding. As you can tell, they're, they're coming Was into that, the that same south pair? wind. Same pair. Dude, Coming in. Kind of a far shot. I only shot one time. We got one down there, and Big Junior gave me the car reel there. We got two more down. Shoo! Time to pick up some honkers, boys. Oh, man. Good honkers. 
Do we have a happy big junior now? He's not cranky. Yep. He's not cranky anymore. <laughs> Good girl. He's part of that one. Look at her bounding. Get it loose. See, in the water, she might bring it back. She'll drag it. Come on, girl. Here. Here. Good girl. I believe in you. Slow and steady wins the race. Now. <laughs> she you got it. Quick. Good girl, Lucy. Good girl. You're not happy about it, but you're doing it. Good job, Bubba. You Come grabbed on, them good. Said, hey, take it, boys. Woo! Andrew's got one. Oh, yeah. Big Junior's got one. I got one. And then we have Buddy in the back who did a cartwheel, but we're piling them up now, boys. A little mid morning. We'll get that sausage going. Got him fired up. Kill him right there. Yep. Yep. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Going, boys! What happened oh, to your hat? I lost my hat. I lost my hat too. I didn't lose mine. What the hat? <laughs> Woo, boys! <laughs> Two of them. Down for the count. Uh oh. He needs another. See you later. All right, let that panther out. Let's go. What do you see, Luce? What do you see, Luce? Fetch! Hoorah! Hoorah! <laughs> Lucy, go get the live one. <laughs> He might need fought. He's walking. I want to see that panther. Three oh, littles, three. three littles, three littles. <laughs> Dude's mobile. <laughs> Banjo, get him. <laughs> that thing's hauling ass, dude. Banjo, run! Yeah, I, sent, I sent Lucy on the wrong one. Here, Lucy. Good girl. God's Lucy work. can't see. Look at you Come got his left nuts. Hey, Banjo. Cut him. Look at Banjo. You got him! Good girl, Luce, here. <laughs> Mobile geese. Good girl, Lucy, all the way. Bring him in here. Good girl. Good. That was a good tree, Bubba. Oh, yeah. Big old Look out, there goes the gun. Double there you go. Double band, he said. <laughs> well, Banjo went on a mission. I should have sent Lucy after the one that was more alive. They were both wounded. These things, I mean. Lucy's look, smart. She picked the easy one. Look at the wingspan on these suckers. They're not they small. ain't small, this son. Even the, even the three and a half inch triple Bs. Still, if you were curious, Banjo gave up on the scope gun a long time ago. So, we're at, at least knocking them down a little bit better. How's the pump treating you? I feel like you're doing pretty good. I'm slaying with that. Thing. Is that your new daily, you think, or no? No, no, no. no. Not a big A70 guy. Let's go! Oh yeah, he's way over there. I'm so proud of you. Poor Banjo. That was that's a far walk run, but we got him down, dude. Two more. Shoo! Good girl, Lucy. You like geese now or what? I don't know if she actually likes geese, but look, look at the at difference. That's <laughs> just a little guy. That's you versus guys tell us not to worry about, Big yeah, Junior. Right. Yeah, right. Really? So we got some honks now. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Big Junior got that little guy or what? Yeah. He's pretty cool. Where's the where's the eyebrow boy? Found one. Look, Look at that, that thing. Buddy's freaking older than yeah, dust. That one. See how old this one is? This guy ancient. Those wingtips are all rounded over. Look at some elderly. Look at, Look the, at that. Look at the foot. Big elderly guy. So, smack down some geese. Last hunt of the season today. Ended it with some big old honkers. At the least, yep. next year, it's gonna be totally different. We're gonna have some pit blinds, hopefully on that side for that pond. This is gonna be turned into a teal pond. It's gonna be totally different, but we're gonna take these home, get them cleaned up, go to the store. We're gonna get everything for the last final catch, clean cook for the waterfowl season. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! Time to clean these geese, ladies and gentlemen. This is the little guy, the old baby. I mean, look at the nose. He's just a little guy. So we are gonna go clean this guy up. As you guys know, you can't see any of YouTube, but you can see it on Uncut. So links down in the description. If you guys wanna go check it out, let's get to cleaning. Shoo! All right, so time to get some ingredients. Bam, new truck. You guys, if you didn't see the video already, you can go see it if you want. What's going on there? It's dirty already. already. Listen, that, you'll have that. So at the beginning of this video, I didn't have this truck, and then we filmed the video getting the truck and then posted it right after we got the truck. So now I have the truck, so I don't have my old truck. So I don't wanna see comments about how I still have my white trucks, I still don't. Anyways, we are headed into Hy-Vee, ladies and gentlemen. I know, we're usually big Walmart guys, but we were driving by Hy-Vee. Honestly, Hy-Vee goes hard. Some of you guys that are in different parts of the country don't have Hy-Vees, but if you do, you know the deal. They are the deal so we're going inside to get ingredients you guys stay tuned huh what didn't jake what? used to work here oh yeah i used to work at the fremont one yeah, then uh cutting the steaks guy. yeah all right he's gonna run it then you guys stay tuned well 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 look what we got dangling here folks i apologize teriyaki 
Torque Sweet Heat and Original at High V, ladies and gentlemen. That is right. So if you're in the area, where, what street are we on? 96 and Q in Omaha, Nebraska. This High V is the only High V as of today that has beefcake jerky. So if you guys are in the Omaha area, swing in. Check. Look, you want to save it. You want to get four cents towards your per gallon of your savings of your fuel? Hey, you come to High V here in Omaha and get yourself some. So how to show these guys some love? They're checking it out. They are fully stocked. We don't always have it on the website, but these guys will always have have our jerky. So we need to get ingredients for the meal. Now we're not cooking tonight. Banjo says he's got a big date tonight. So I was like, okay, well, let's just get the ingredients for tomorrow. Let's maybe let's do breakfast. We've never done goose breakfast. So I'm thinking, okay, you've got ground goose or not even necessarily, but I'm just going to assume we're going to grind it. Okay. So you're going to grind the goose. What are you going to make with ground goose? You could make a little breakfast casserole. You, you could make you biscuits. Bath bombs. Your you're big bath guy. Honestly, those look kind of, those look kinda, those you pick look, out a little special ones or what? Are these little? That, yeah. I, I Valentine's Day coming up soon. Give me, <laughs> I'm gonna get a sexy bomb. I'm putting that back. So with the ground goose, you could do breakfast casserole. You could do eggs and sausage. You can make it like into a patty if you want. You could do biscuits and gravy. Would be a good one. You like that? I'm in on biscuits. And I gravy. like biscuits. Gravy. Last and time, I say, last it. time we gave Big Junior biscuits and gravy, he left the duck blind early. <laughs> Let's just say we didn't limit out that day and he was gone, if you know what I'm saying. So, I'm good with that. Yeah. Biscuits and gravy. So, something different. Never done it before. Straight goose in some gravy with some fluffy biscuits for breakfast in the morning. So, first thing we gotta do, we gotta find some biscuits. Oh, we got biscuits right here. Biscuits and rolls. Pick your biscuit. In the jumbos or get, 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 the jumbos. get the fluffiest biscuits they got. I see flaky layers. Buttery, tasty. Southern home style. Ooh. What other options they got there. Big biscuits. There's some flaky layers right the there. Southern one? What's look, that? look below you. What's the flaky layers? Is that good or not good? What are you looking at? Flaky layers. Oh, oh sure. Do you yeah. want the layers? I'm down on the layers. The southern one about? I have no idea. How does that taste different? All right, we're in the way. We better, we're, yeah. we're getting layers. <laughs> we're, doing layers. We're, getting, we're getting the layers. So, if you don't know how to make gravy, <laughs> butter, you use, I think, butter and, is it butter, milk, and flour? Butter, flour, then milk. Butter, flour, then milk. You actually use cream, don't you? Mmm, we could do some heavy cream. Should we find some nice thick cream? Let's see. Are, we in, the, cream, are we in the cream area? Cream, cream, cream. We're getting close. I can smell it. There it There's is. heavy whipping cream right here. Oh yeah, should we get half and half for butter, buttermilk or straight whipping cream? Let's make buttermilk. You want buttermilk? Uh, yeah, buttermilk. Is that enough? Should I get? I should get one of these probably. That one looks crusty. What's wrong with it? Oh, never mind. Oh, I was like, what, I was like, what do you see this? Uh, this thing is dirty. I was like, what's wrong with that? All right, some buttermilk gravy. Okay, so we got buttermilk. We already got flour. We already got butter at the house. Okay, so it's easy. Um, I'm trying to think, what else? A lot of pepper. What else? Is that, we really came here for these? I think we did. Dang, I didn't realize, I didn't realize gravy was that simple. What, do we, yeah, what am I missing? Three ingredient meal. Is that it? A lot of pepper. It's pepper? We, we already have the meat. You just need butter because you need fat. And the goose we, Yeah, we already, got, we, already, we already got butter. I guess that's the simplest meal I've ever made. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We are making goose biscuits and gravy, ladies and gentlemen. Biscuits and goose gravy. Now, before all you haters get in there, yes, we're using normal milk. We made that mistake. We were buying the milk. We were at High V. We were distracted. Jake's like, let's do buttermilk. And I was like, yeah, great idea. Buttermilk, biscuits, and gravy. Wrong. Buttermilk, biscuits, comma, gravy. You don't use buttermilk for the gravy. You make buttermilk biscuits, but we're not making biscuits, so we don't need buttermilk. Therefore, Macy was like, this is the... <laughs> what are you doing? Did you bring that cackler back? Yeah. Kinda. Not really. So Macy was like, don't do that. And I was like, it's fine. And then I read some reviews online and it's not gonna be fine. So we're not gonna do it. So don't do that. If you're gonna get buttermilk, make the biscuits with the buttermilk. If you're just gonna make gravy, just use milk. Or you could use like half and half or like whatever. Just not buttermilk apparently. Learn something new. So we've got flaky layers, okay? You, you do the honors. I wanna see the explosion happen. And then we've got the goose. Okay, this is just the cackler. Since we haven't really eaten cackler, I'm gonna try it with this. I mean, I don't think it's gonna taste much different than just a normal Canadian goose. You ready? How do you feel about it? That wasn't as intense. Big Junior usually- I like it when he does it. Big Junior usually pulls his piece, you know, and that happens, yeah. he gets all worried. So, uh, I figured we'd put him on there, but do we need to melt a little butter on there, you think? Oh just to, I don't, yeah, oh, I guess, oh, I, guess I got these. Yeah, this this work. Let me, let me drizzle a little bit on here. This is like, that, oh, that's, that's, that's a lot. That's a little lot. <laughs> Son of a- You got paper towels. So, that works too. Dump it out. There you go. Now we're cooking, so bam! That's that. Get your biscuits on there, buddy. Perfect. So Vanjie's gonna spread them biscuits. And then we've got the goose here with the grinder, with the ice. You guys, you guys are onto something. And we're gonna grind it, brown it, season it. And then we're gonna show you guys how to make it and turn it into a gravy. By that time, hopefully the biscuits are done. We pull the biscuits out, cover the biscuits with the gravy, and that's what we're gonna be eating for breakfast. So, go ahead and kick this bad boy on. Let's see, is it plugged in? Nope. Now it's on. 
All right, here we go, boys. Whole thing? Huh? Oh, she's got it. She's got it. I believe in you. Yeah, take it. Look at that. Woo! Woo! She's juicing. She's juicing. Yep. Where's my little plunger? There it is. Safety plunger right here. There it is. Getting it done, boys. Throw that ice down in there. Look at that. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I think it got most of it out, but it's... Hmm. All right. Not the All right. I, you guys are wrong. The ice is not the deal. It's unplugged, by the way, so I'm not gonna get. I mean, we we gotta be close to the ice. You can see it's getting frosty. Yeah. So I think we're okay. Maybe too much ice. Maybe too much ice. So we're big bread guys. I thought we liked. No, bread. no, no bread, bread sucked. Bread? Ice was the deal, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the ice worked really well last time. This time, not so much. Oh, oh there's the ice. We're good. That's not that much. We didn't miss out on much meat. I saw another comment where they did the ice thing. They said the ice sharpens the blades too. Did you know? Did, know did, have like you ever heard that eggshell? Have you ever heard about eggshell sharpening your garbage disposal blades? No. Because that's a myth. Did you try it? I, no, but I learned it on TikTok. They said no. don't do that. I heard people put ice in their garbage disposal. And that's sharpening. the deal? <laughs> yeah, I guess. All right, so goose, ground, and ready to rock and roll. Go ahead and. I need to say, what's going on here? I'm just, I'm hanging on. What's L mean? Lock? Probably. I got it. Yeah, Programmed her. All right, so you got the biscuits? Yeah. Biscuits are going in, boys. 350 into the oven for a total of 13, 16 minutes. You set a time, you got Siri on there. What do you got yeah, going on? What do you want? 13? 13. Set a timer for 13 minutes. 13 minutes, gonna splash just a little bit of oil in here just because the goose doesn't have a whole lot of fat. So we can add a little bit more depending, but I don't want it to stick. So now that that's heating up, all right. Bam! There's your ground goose. What are you thinking for seasoning, Banjo? You got any ideas there? What do you got in there? Buffalo, smoky, wild game. Wild game? Are we out of all meat? We might be out of the nectar. I think we're out of the nectar. What about the what about the drawer below that? Is there any more nectar in there? Bam! We've got some Cosmos SPG. So that'll work. That's got some good stuff in it. Just some good all-purpose seasoning. Okay, and the biggest thing, what Jake was saying earlier, is pepper. Big pepper guy when it comes to the gravy. So we're gonna get it browned up. Once it's all browned up, we add some butter, we add some flour, you make a roux or something like that, then you throw some milk in it, you'll see. You gotta stay tuned. Sheesh! Look at that, boys. We got her browned up, got a little butter melted in there. Just add a little bit of fat. It's just, it's just a lean deal with the goose. Now, I'm not sure exactly how much to add, so we're just gonna start. Okay, this is it. This is a third of a cup, but I didn't fill it, so I'm gonna just go ahead and say maybe like a fourth of a cup. We'll start We'll start with that. We're gonna stir it around until it gets all coated and thickened up and whatnot, and then we're gonna start drizzling. Not in the buttermilk. Don't, don't wanna drizzle the buttermilk. We learned that. Well, we didn't learn it, but saved ourselves. Imagine, that would've sucked. Yeah, probably yeah. wouldn't taste very you do good. all this and it's just like, oh, that's ass. Probably need a little bit more, huh? What do you think, Banjo? You biscuits and gravy expert? I, no, I just use them. Me neither. I, like I've only done, you make this I've, I feel like line. I've only done this a couple times. Each time I feel like I've like I'm new to it. I just pour the little packet in. Really? Yeah. And that's the that's the way you do that. Yeah. Easy. So I feel like we still need more. So I'm gonna guess I did a third of a cup. Bam. All right. Now a little bit of milk action. See what happens there. It's gonna be meaty gravy. It, I was gonna say there's a lot of meat in here. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Yeah, we're gonna have, to, we're gonna have to make some more. Like this is. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and give her one of those. Just get it over with. Rip the bandaid off. You know. Yeah. Just, there you go. Just, just get through with it. Considering this is just with the smallest goose we got too. Like, yeah. You imagine we get one of the big old Canadians in here, son. Feed the whole town. We'd be feeding everybody around here. So now you just sit here and you bring it up to a little simmer. So I'm gonna kick the heat up, and if it seems a little too thick, then hey, add a little bit more milk. If it seems a little too thin. Hey. Add a little bit more flour, and that's how we're gonna do it. You gotta stay tuned. Son of a gun! <laughs> well, they're flaky. Can we just take that? Flaky yeah, I think we layer can take. Off? I think. We, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, look yeah, at yeah. That. See, this guy. that's why we got the flaky layer. I looked at them four seconds ago, and I was like, these look still a little raw. I'm gonna keep them in there. All of a sudden, wham! Toasted. That, that's good though. I think the. I, I agree, Banjo. I think the flaky layers. Yeah. You just you just get rid of the flaky take layer. Take off the blanket. Take off the layer. That's flaky. Pull. Ah. Yeah. Hi, Yaba. Yaba's. What'd you say? Hi. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Here. We just. We're good. We're, I think we're all right. Are the bottoms burning? I think the bottoms are fine. The bottoms are fine. Yeah. It's nice and golden. Bam. Should we split them like. Oh, yeah. These are. I mean, these are like flaky, buttery. God. You good? Nope. Ah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, see, <clears throat> I don't know if these are like the proper ones for biscuits and gravy because I think biscuits and gravy are supposed to be kind of like dry, fluffy yeah. and dry. Listen, I don't think there's rules. Okay, no, there's definitely rules, but we're not gonna follow them. No, nope. I think we're gonna be just fine. So here's what the gravy looks like. She's a little on the thick side, but that's okay. If you want, you just splash a little bit of milk in there. I like heat it. it up. I'm not up against it. We also douse it in pepper, which we can add a little bit more. Go ahead and cover. Oh yeah, that's it, baby. Goose biscuits and gravy. This looks amazing. Yep. Oh yeah, almost burnt the biscuits, but we're good. We saved the day. 
Shout out to the flaky layers. No biscuits were harmed. Does this make you feel bad, Joe? Great. I feel like that gravy went a long, like not a long way, I guess. Like only three? I thought I was going to yeah, serve the village. I thought we were going to serve the village. Right there, ladies and gentlemen, you were looking at goose, biscuits, and gravy. All right, we're going to dig in here, boys. Into the flaky layers, into the goose meat. Andrew's deep. I'm mm. trying to figure out how to navigate the, the, the biscuit. The flaky layers. Is the flaky layers throwing you off? No. It, <clears throat> really? It's good. Mmm. Mmm. All right. Do I say next time we bring the grinder to the duck blind and just do it right then? <laughs> right then and there. Shoot that thing, catch it out of the sky, throw it right yeah, in the grinder. Right in the grinder. I mean, you make this in duck blind? I mean, I, I use her. Oh, oh, yep, there it is. It's not nothing spicy. Nothing the pepper, son. <laughs> My ears start itching. That's when you know it's good. I mean, if I got this at first watch, mm -hmm. I'd be happy. This is really good. There might be, a tr I might have a trace, a light trace of Steak. goose. Just a little, not a lot. I think you give her one of these numbers. I like the goose though. Yeah, and I think you'd be all right. I like knowing that it is goose, you know? Yeah. I like the little game. It's a little, little. it's got a little tang, a little wang, but it ain't bad. A lot of the dishes we make are like, there's no way you would know. I don't think you would know it's goose. I think you would think maybe like a deer or a mm -hmm. bison or something. Just a, just something a little different. That's gonna make your ears itch, holy crap. Mm -hmm. mm, that helps. Yeah. A little more pep. A little, little bit more pepper in there. That's a pretty good breakfast right there. Simple too. I mean, a few ingredients, just don't burn your biscuits, son. Mm. Or just get the flaky layers, because that saves mm -hmm. the day. <laughs> this is really good. For just eyeballing some flour, not buttermilk, okay? Lightly seasoning everything. Seems like one of the more simple recipes, but all right. You gotta get in there. Big pepper guy. Get that pepper in there. Yeah. Get my ears you get, twitching. You get, yeah, get them ears twitching and whatnot. Yeah. Twitch it. I yeah. they itch. Hey, whatever they do, it means it's good. Neither of them are a real thing. No, it's real. No, you're full of it. Mm. Yeah, not bad for just some eyeballing. No measuring. You'd have no idea that's goose. No, I think it's pretty good. Mm -mm. I think the flaky biscuits are, are honestly kind of the move. Sometimes you go to a restaurant, it's like... Crumbly? Yeah, and you yeah. need like a gallon of milk to like get through the... Flaky layers are the deal. Like, I feel like I've had it where it's like, it's like, I'm sure they're probably homemade, whatever, sourdough, whatever you guys do, but it's like dense, doughy, and dry, and they're really hard to swallow. These just slide right on down. Yeah, they still taste like biscuits, but they're not like making you cough. Y yeah, right. yeah, you ain't, gotta, you ain't gotta chug down a gallon of chalky milk. Not that I'm against that, okay? A gallon of chalky milk, you don't even need biscuits, okay? Like like a KFC biscuit, or like a Popeye's biscuit. Yeah, like them suckers will put you in a coma, you ain't paying attention, okay? Yeah. So these don't do that to you because they got the flaky layers and they're buttery. They're buttery, they're flaky, they're soft, they're moist. So I don't know, maybe you guys are thinking we're, we're, we're throwing it off and we shouldn't have done the layers in the Flake, but I'm thinking the, the layers save the day. That. Just straight out. It's fire. Mm. Put a little jam on that. It reminds yeah. me of like mm -hmm. brioche. It's yeah. that like fluffy. Yeah. Bread. Yeah. See, those are more like, that's more of like a dinner roll. Yeah. But honestly, I'm not mad about it. I feel. How'd that happen? You break your fork? Honestly, I'm not mad about it. So let me know. What do you guys think? If you guys are biscuit and gravy connoisseurs, did we mess up the biscuits? Did we mess up the gravy? Should we have used buttermilk? Don't use buttermilk, okay? You can use like half and half if you want, whipping cream, whatever. Honestly, just regular whole milk worked pretty good, I would say. What do you think? I'm a fan. 8. You're, you're about 7. it? Really good. 8.7, I would, I would agree. I'd give it a, a solid eight. I don't know what else I would do to make it any better, but with how simple it is, I'm thinking maybe next year, once we have a pit blind at the least with a kitchen, you bring the grinder and we straight up Boom. Catch them, pluck them, shred them, grind them, and we make biscuits gravy in the blind as fresh as it gets. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, we'll catch you and peace.